A new way of helping teenagers deal with anxiety and depression is having positive results. The University of Reading has been running a pilot scheme where psychologists offer practical therapy to secondary school children in the classroom. James Ingham reports. These sixth form students have all suffered from low mood, depression or anxiety. They found it hard to cope with pressure at school and in their social lives. Yeah, welcome back guys, really nice to see you all again. They're receiving therapy on a pilot study run by the University of Reading. The idea is that simple and brief intervention can stop mental health problems from worsening, making these children more resilient and better able to help themselves. I was always so worried about my workload and so worried that I wasn't doing well enough. I kind of got to a point where I didn't really know why I was still coming into school. And then we were offered these workshops and they, they taught us how to deal with those, with those feelings and how to deal with those thoughts and that has really helped. When I get heavy workloads, I have struggle organising myself and then I get worried that I'm not going to do my work, then I get worried I'm going to get told off and it just has like a, a snowballing effect and then that doesn't make, that makes me feel down. But coming to these workshops I've been able to um, organise myself better and get more of a control on my life. Adolescents face increasing pressure in their lives. Exams, social media, bullying are all huge issues that they increasingly want to talk about. About one in ten of the population will have one of these problems before they leave school. So one of the reasons we go into schools is because in every classroom there'll be a handful of kids who have these difficulties and we can be much more efficient and get to kids much sooner if we're in their school. We've noticed a direct impact on improved attendance reduced negative behaviour um, and a more positive attitude towards learning. So early results are positive, but this pilot is running in only a few schools. The university is hoping to engage the government to ensure it can be rolled out to more. James Ingham, BBC South Today, Thiel.